Well, well, well. Good morning, sorry friend. It's the Midi Man coming at you again from Walkers Music for yet another word for the day. I'm a little late with it today, though. I apologize for that, but I had a PC call I had to do this morning, so I not too long ago got back in, so we are going to decide we'll do it now. So here it is, and we give God all the praise and glory. We give an honor for life, health, and strength. We also thank Him for each and every one of you. My title said, people, Jesus is coming soon. Maranatha. Oh, my Lord. I tell you, uh, people, we have seen so much thing. In these here 50 some odd years that uh, I've seen quite a few things myself. I may not be as young as I used to be and everything. I'm, I, 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 I look at my, my present condition. I thank God for it. I'm still able to do most of the things that I always was able to do and I still have my facilities and I'll be glad of that because there's a lot of people much younger than I am. They are not as fortunate uh, for whatever reason. People uh, have their, uh, some disabilities and some of them dealing with different things and we pray for them and uh, also but we thank God that you know it could have been the other way but we thank God that God saw fit in other words to I'm still on this side of the grave, but we all know that we all graveyard travelers. And I just want everybody to know we don't have anything to fear of death because of the fact that we know what Jesus said. People I was listening uh, the other night, I was listening to uh, a certain minister and he really blew it out the water. He was speaking about, you know, everybody want to give everybody a word. Every time you see some people, they got a word for you. But you got to be careful about who you let speak into your life. Because everybody's not speaking what thus says the Lord. They are not coming from the scripture on a scripture on the Bible based uh, platform. Got to be careful about that. And I, I really, I can agree with that. But you got to realize people that God have, God have people everywhere. And uh, he, 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 he got disciples everywhere, in other words. But we need to be cautious how we handle the Lord's gospel. Now, I'm just saying it like this. It's just me to me now. Everybody else, I'm not talking about where no precedence, where I read, where you have to do this. But I'm saying the one that teach must be very careful. That you are doing also, you are following the precepts yourself, and you are not condemned. Don't let the word condemn you. The same thing that you are trying to teach others to do. We can't, we can't, we can't do it like that, people. But you know, yes, if as we know that Jesus is coming very soon, we should be very, very careful, very, very careful of how we treat ye one another. The Bible said, "Love ye one another." Jesus said. By this, you will know that they are my disciples by the love they're going to have for each other. And I'm not just talking about lip service. You can make your mouth say anything. But I'm talking about authentic love, genuine. In other words, the kind of love that Jesus had for all of us. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. People don't really see, the, they, I don't think they see the, the height of that love or the death. And that while we were yet sinners, Christ still died on the cross. We wasn't right, but yet and still he died for us on the cross. And guess what? We still ain't right to the degree, not within it ourselves. But it's only what he did that makes us right. Now, you know, I thought about that. I thought about that. And, uh, I said, now, God sits on his throne. He knew what he was going to have to do. We can't grasp it all with this little finite mind that we got, y'all. But God knew what he was going to have to do. I mean, he knew it. He knew that he was going to have to get off his throne, wrap himself up in an earth suit just like I got, born into this world by a woman just like I was born, and then pay the penalty for sin himself. Because we was not able to do it. We were not able. Listen, people. We were not able. God knew that he was going to have to do it from the foundation of the world. And lo, the Lamb of God, that taken away the sin of the world. 
That's what John said when he saw him coming for the baptism in the Jordan River. He said, Lord, look, behold, the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. For God so loved the world that he gave his own begotten son. Now, people, I don't know about you, but many man, every time I think about that, it makes me want to do better. I just say it like that. Because remember, it's not our work that does it. Jesus' work finished it. He said it is finished. But the love and, and the, 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 the particular care that God took redeeming us, it makes me the man want to do better. Even though sometimes I fall, cannot bend my knees, skin them up and everything, else, hands and all. It, but it makes me desire. I have a will to do what's right. Then I think about what Jesus told the disciples in the garden. He said, indeed, the spirit is willing. But the flesh is weak. See, Jesus recognized people that our flesh is weak. He understands. Stop beating up ourselves. And I'm talking to me, the man, too. We need to stop beating up ourselves because we missed it. God is not surprised when we make a mess because he already knows that's all we are, a mess. We are a mess that's waiting to happen. But guess what? He paid the price. Does that mean live in a kind of way? Of course it does not. But that means that you should be in, a, in your mind state of saying, Lord, I want to live to please you. I got the will to do what's right. I want to do it. But even though, Lord, I fail sometimes, God is not condemning you. Remember what it says in Romans 8. There is now no condemnation to those that what? They have to believe in the Lord in Christ. Jesus had paid this price. We are no longer under the law. We are no longer under the law of death, condemnation. The law brought death. Jesus brought life. He said, I come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. So people, confess Christ and pardon of your sin. Take up your cross. Just tell the Lord, look, can, if you can use me, here I am I. Take this mess and make something out of it. And you get your own self out of the way. God will do the rest. That's all me the man can tell anybody. And that's what I'm telling you. So with this, remember, Jesus is coming soon. And his reward, people, is with him. His reward is with him when he comes to give every man according to his word. So remember, remember what he said. Without me, ye can do nothing. Remember that old word. So don't let people beat you over the head with their Bible. Don't let people condemn you. Jesus told a woman. He said, where are your accusers? When they brought the woman, he, she said, Lord, I don't have any. He said, neither do I condemn you. But he said, to go your way and sin no more. Men, get up now and walk in newness of life. If you fail, you confess, I got you. I got you covered. That's what Jesus was telling us all. If and when we fail, because there ain't no doubt about it, if you're living, you're going to fail in some area. You're not perfect, but Jesus is. So when you do fail, he just said confess. Confess and believe, and you shall have eternal life. This is man saying whatever you get, whatever you get into. If God is not in it, best you come out of it, people. It's going to come to nothing. This is man saying peace. Until tomorrow night on the uh, Blog Talk Radio, we're having a good Bible study. We, I got some news for everybody. I can't tell it right now, but um, as the time goes on, I may let a little snippet out. But, but right now, I'm just saying, join me for a Tuesday night Bible study. If the Lord say so, we'll be there at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So with that said, this is Man saying peace and a good day.